Fora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, artist uh, Neil Harbison, he's colorblind, uh, like heavily colorblind, only sees uh, in uh, shades of gray. So what he did, he basically uh, built this system by which uh, it's a simple camera that translates colors into sounds. So therefore, when he looks around, well, he sees the shades of gray, but he hears colors. So it's something very interesting. So he is a regular human being with a certain deficit, but he's enhanced by technology. So he's a cyborg. And he managed somehow to get his uh, passport photo from the UK uh, with the camera. And therefore, he tells that everyone that he's the first official cyborg of the world. So this is interesting because now we have a real benefit for, uh, for somebody. So somebody couldn't do something and now, even though it's not exactly wha what the normal condition is, he can see color in a certain way. And that's, that's pretty amazing. But uh, this one, I think, is truly amazing. She had a ski accident 20 years before this uh, video was taken. Uh, it's a uh, work from uh, Berkeley. And through uh, a robotic system, an exoskeleton, that is not connected uh, physically to her body, she's able to walk after 20 years. And that's amazing. I mean, and I think that is one reason why we are witnessing robotic evolution. Uh, it's, uh, if you think about that the te technology we have now is able to, after 20 years of total inactivity, take somebody in a wheelchair and after 12 hours of training able to walk around, that's, that's impressive. <laughs>